Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and we're back in Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. We're going to visit the forum shops at Caesars Palace. Known as the shopping wonder of the world, or at least that's what Caesars calls it, there's 160 specialty stores and fine restaurants and attractions here at this huge mall right on the Strip. If you're walking the Strip and it's really hot out, and when isn't it, it's a great place to stop into, maybe walk around a little, do a little shopping, cool off, and maybe have a little lunch. I'm here just a few days after the Las Vegas Strip reopened during COVID, and uh, the Strip is kind of empty. Let's see what the inside of the mall looks like, shall we? Let's go inside. <laughs> So one of the first things you come upon when you walk into the mall is this sign which shows you it's a sign of the times. Most of the restaurants here are closed. This sign's telling you which ones are open. And the sign also lets you know that the mall closes at 7 o'clock at night. Something unheard of for the Las Vegas Strip. Another thing you'll notice is how spotless this mall is. And it's not just the mall. I have to say Vegas is a very spotless city. Every time I visit, it's always clean, even pre-COVID. So uh, with, the, with the clothes for two months, they've had a lot of time to even clean more. And everything around here looks new in this entire city, including this mall. As we walk the mall, you'll see they have some very innovative benches and things to sit on here, uh, including these benches that look like fallen columns from Rome. Another thing that'll catch your eye are these uh, curved escalators that always intrigue me. You don't see them around too many other places. Uh, there is another place on the Strip at the Wynn Resorts, right across the street, a little north on the Strip. They also have some curved escalators as well. They always intrigued me. The details in this building are just incredible, and sometimes you forget you're actually in a shopping mall, a pretty much brand new shopping mall, uh, and you feel like you're in some kind of classic historical building in Italy. This is Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl who shows up on all my Vegas videos. As most of you know, there are hidden mascots, or some of you call them Easter eggs, in my videos. Mitzi shows up in all the Vegas ones. Sometimes she's easy to spot, other times she's quite elusive, so keep your eyes open while watching the video. If you spot her, note the time in the comments below, and if you're the first one, you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. Some of the really cool features here at the forum shops include the Fall of Atlantis, which we're going to pass in a little bit, as well as a giant 50,000 gallon aquarium and some of the most stunning architecture on the Strip. Some of the restaurants located inside the mall are Carmine's, Joe's Seafood, Sushi Roku, The Palm, The Cheesecake Factory, Trevi Italian Restaurant, True Food Kitchen, and The Water Grill. Some of these are closed right now, but since I've visited here back in June, I'm sure most of them are open at this point. And of course, it wouldn't be a Las Vegas building without a artificially painted sky. When I visited, about half the stores were only open, but I'm sure at this point most of them are open. Uh, there's way too many for me to mention here, but some of them include Apple, uh, Burberry, Canali, Cartier, David Yerman, Fendi, Hobalt, Gucci, H&M, Longchamp, Louis Vuitton, Michael Kors, uh, Mulberry, Salvatore Ferragamo, Tiffany & Company, Tumi, Valentino Accessories, Van Cleef & Arpels, and many, many, many more. And it looks like I have this entire Roman Empire to myself today. Don't forget to check out my book, 50 Attractions and Many Tips When Visiting Las Vegas. It's down at the bottom in the description of this video that you're watching. It's only $4.99, instantly downloaded to your computer. Tons of pictures and fantastic tips if you plan on visiting Sin City. So, I've been to tons of malls around the country, and I'm sure you've seen quite a few as well, but where else have you seen a mall this grandiose, this over-the-top, with materials that are so expensive? Only in Las Vegas will you find something like this as a shopping mall. I'm going to quote Vegas.com. It's a great website, and they also have an app for your phone, which you should definitely download if you plan on visiting Las Vegas. But they say that most of us go to the mall to grab the outfit we want, then leave. But the forum shops at Caesars is far from simple. You'll want to stick around a lot longer. Talking statues, an exotic fish aquarium, 
world-renowned restaurants with stores like famous designers like Salvador Ferragamo, Gianni Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, and Louis Vuitton, you won't have a problem with splurging. We just passed Carmine's Italian restaurant on the left-hand side, and if you're a fan of my Atlantic City videos, you'd know that there's a Carmine's in the Tropicana, the hotel and casino located on the southern end of the Atlantic City boardwalk. And we just passed some more of those fallen column benches that I spoke about earlier in the video. The cool thing about the benches in this mall as well is that they uh, have electrical outlets as well as USB ports in case you need to charge your phone while you're shopping. This right here, pretty much center mall, is Trevi Italian Restaurant. This fountain at the uh, pretty much the centerpiece of the mall is called the Fountain of the Gods. It's obviously very impressive and a great photo opportunity. And a quick shout out right now to some of the viewers who found some hidden mascots in my videos. And they include Tony Boy, JQ User, and of course Wise Malik. Congratulations guys. Keep looking for those hidden mascots in all my videos. So when it comes to my personal taste, I really don't go for the over-the-top kind of stuff, but I really do like this fountain, and I'd like to bring it home with me and put it on my front lawn. Not sure if the neighbors would like that idea or uh, have me run out of town. Looks like the high-end designers fought really hard for this prime location, and you know what they say about real estate. Location, location, location. Here we have Cartier, Versace, across the way is Louis Vuitton. There's a Rolex right after Versace here. By the way, check out that watch, it's 10 after 10. Anytime you see a print ad for a watch, it's 10 after 10, trust me. Coming up on the right is Mount Blanc, and uh, they're known for a lot of luxury items, but in particular, luxury pens. And years ago, I got a nice promotion with the company I was working for, and somebody bought me a Mont Blanc pen. And uh, I kind of liked the idea that I had a fancy schmancy pen, but I knew I was going to lose it. I'm not good with things like that. Uh, I'm really good with like Bic pens and paper mate pens. Knowing that I had a Mount Blanc pen, I just said, I know I'm going to lose this thing. So I left it home most of the time. Uh, the friend asked me, why don't I carry my pen around? So I started to do it. And of course, I lost my Mont Blanc pen. We're talking about a pen that costs a couple hundred bucks, so somewhere out there is a waiter or a messenger who's enjoying my pen, and well, good for them. I hope they're enjoying it. Someday I might get a tattoo while I'm here in Vegas. They're hard to lose. It's time to sanitize the mall. It's time to sanitize the mall. Let's get rid of Corona. It's time to... Ooh, there's some big old security guards in front of Apple. Let's get out of here. No, sir, not me. I'm Windows and Android all the way. On the left, we have the Gap. Back in the day, I was a huge Gap shopper, but I outgrew them in more ways than one. By the way, I'll be in Vegas in about a week or so, so if you have anything you want me to cover, just uh, leave it in the comments below or click on the About tab on the New York channel and you'll get my uh, email address, which is newyork at yahoo.com. This huge aquarium at the forum shops is a bazillion gallons and it has a mazillion fish. I might be exaggerating a little bit, but it's pretty big. On the left here we have the Cheesecake Factory, which was closed when I visited, but I'm sure it's open by now. And One of my plans when I visit Vegas in about a week is to visit all the food courts here on the Strip. Don't tell any of my competitors, by the way. Uh, I am, I'm only kidding. We're, we're all the creators on YouTube are one big happy family, and I really mean that. But I do plan on doing a video on the food courts, because there's a, a quadrillion of them here. As you can see, I have an issue with numbers. And now we're back at the Fountain of the Gods, and we're going to start heading towards Caesar, which is a totally different video, so make sure you check that out on the New York channel. And on our way there, we pass a Fendi here on our left, and if you're in Italy and you hit a Fendi, well, you get a little dent in your fender. 
If you're in Las Vegas and you hit a Fendi, you get a huge dent in your wallet. By the way, as I mentioned, I'll be in Vegas in a little over a week. I plan on doing my very first live stream, the New York first live stream from the uh, Cosmopolitan. I'll start it off on the terrace with a view of the Bellagio and give you guys a room tour. Uh, to know when and where that's happening, make sure you check that community tab daily on the New York channel, and I will keep you guys posted on when that's going to happen. And this is the entrance to Caesar's Palace here on the Las Vegas Strip, so let's check it out. And if you want to see what it's all about, make sure you check that video out here on the New York channel. If you put a buck in my cup, I am going to shut the fuck up. And you ain't gotta be a baller to give me a motherfucking dollar. I know for a fact my buddy likes to hang out here in the same spot every time, but I understand he was down by the New York, New York not too long ago, so when I'm here in about a week or so, I'm going to look for him and get an update. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.